Welcome back everyone. In this section, we'll be discussing the difference between the critical path and the longest path. These two terms are often confused with each other. So let's start with the definition. The terms critical path and longest path are often used interchangeably when discussing your project's super high priority sequence of work to deliver on time. It's confusing to many. There is an important distinction, be distinction between your project critical path and the longest path. They are not the same, they could be the same. A popular definition of critical path is it's the path of zero total float through the project. This is true in the following condition. There is no project deadline, there is no constraint, and there is no actuals. However, if any of these conditions above change, it could be the path or paths with least total float. So it's a very important point here. It, it, the critical path could be more than one path. The longest path is the longest path. There is no debating the term longest. It's only one path. The longest path is the path through a project network from start to finish where the total duration is longer than any other path. And there is a filter for that on P6. If on P6, if you go to the built-in filters, you can find the longest path filter. It makes sense to focus on a project's longest path as it's definitely the path where Deviation from plan will affect the project's finish date. The longest path is a critical path, but not all critical paths are the paths are the longest. The project's longest path is the main path to monitor. What the client wants to see might be something else, but timely completion of the longest path activities lead to your project's finishing on time. And when we discuss the delay events and the Longest paths, this is what we'll be focusing on. We'll be focusing mainly on the longest path, which is the path that will lead to project completion. So why there is a confusion between both of them? As we just said, there is only one longest path. At the start of the job, the longest path could be the same as the critical path, where you don't have any updates. And if you have a project deadline, you can probably will adjust the constraint date, so it will also, also show as a zero total float. And there is no actuals yet. The moment you start putting actuals, the job probably will be running well. So if it's running well, then you, all, you will not have a negative float path. Or if it's late, there are negative float paths. And in this case, if you start the job with, let's say, you have a, a critical path with a zero total float and another path with five days total float and you are 10 days late, then probably you will have two critical paths in this case, one which is 10 days late and one that's five days late. So in this case, you need to make sure that you are, you are tackling the longest path if this is what you are looking for. If you are trying to mitigate the delay and make sure that everything will finish on time, then probably you need to tackle all the critical paths to make sure that there is no negative float on all of them. So. Please be careful when dealing with both terms and try to explain to people around you because not everyone understands the difference between the critical path and the longest path. So probably what they want to see is the longest path and they will say, show me the critical path or paths. So make sure that they understand your message right and you explain to them what, that you, gave, what you gave them. Usually I will give everyone the longest path and they don't have a good planning experience say, this is the longest path, which is the critical in this case.